Yo, 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 yo. Ma, 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 nine. All right. Uh oh, ambulance. Get down. Okay. So what I'm going to do is look at this picture here, and now Mod 9 is cleaning up the dining room, and then we're going to finish it off. So what we're going to do here is make a plate and copy it for the little stack on the cabinet here, and we're going to make a glass, a bottle, the rug if you haven't already, and the windows over here, which are French doors. Bam, big window, little window. All right, so first what I'm going to do is I made this wall that's going to represent the wall and the dining room. You should already have that up in your project. So now I'm going to boolean this shape right out of the wall. So you click the wall after you put the shape in place, and you change this to compound objects, and you click Pro Boolean, start picking, and you click this. All right, now I'm going to turn this back into an edible poly. And now what I'm going to do is select those um, polygons there. I'm going to scale them a little bit larger so I have a little more room to work with and I'm gonna hit extrude and change this first option whoops to local normal right click on these arrows and that's gonna be my window frame so if I go back and look at the picture the the windows go all the way down so I'm going to select these vertices here and move them down. All right, and I'm just going to keep it real simple. I don't need to do anything uh, fancy. So I'm going to get out of this, and I'm going to just change this back to standard primitives. And I'm making a modified version of that window. We want to hurry up and get done with this, so I'm not going to do anything uh, really difficult. I'm just going to use that as an idea for what I want the windows to look like. So I'll look back at the picture. There's a section here, and I'm assuming there's a section over here, and there's the doors in the middle. So what I'm going to do is kind of scale this in to get a box about this big, split it up into, into quadrants, like so. Turns on and off, highlighted, uh, selected polygons. I'm going to copy this right through here in the middle, and I'm going to scale it down to be thin. I'm going to copy this box over here. I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to scale it out. This is going to be the bottom of the windows. All right, now I'm going to select this, and I'm going to look at the frame of the window. So I've got one piece in the middle, two, three, and they each look like they line up that way. So I'm just going to hold the shift on this, scale it over, and make it thin. And I'm going to copy it over here, holding shift, copy it over here, and do the same thing over here. And I'm going to press E for rotate. I'm going to hold shift and drag this down. Whoops. And I'm going to put these in up here. All right, and there were three. So now I'm going to copy this down, make another copy here. And I'll probably make this a little bigger. All right, there are the window frames. Now I'm going to put a window in the middle of it. So I'm going to make another box. I'm going to make it the length of this window and really skinny and the height. And I'm going to move it inside until I can see everything. So back here. And now I'm going to press M. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to create... And I'm going to make this, uh, let's just say, it doesn't matter what color I make it, I'm going to scroll down to transmission and turn this up to 1. And I'm going to apply it.
Okay, that's not exactly the windows, but it is close. So I want that in the in the dining room, and then I'll do a cup really quick. It's basically just a a cone. All right, now the bottle. Do that bottle. Start with a cylinder. All right, get rid of these segments. Maybe make three. That's good enough for a glass bottle. <clears throat> and then a plate. If you haven't already made a plate for the walls, you can do that with basically um, a cone. Right, essentially right there. And then you can convert this into an edible poly, delete that polygon on the bottom. Give it a shell. SH on the modifier list, change some of that thickness, rotate it over, and then maybe scale it down a little bit. That's a pretty big plate. And then press W, hold shift and drag up a slight, and then just change this number to like 10 and you got a stack of plates. And then you would move that to wherever your cabinet is in your dining room. And then lastly, find a good material for the rug, put the rug in there. That's basically just a really, really thin box, really thin box on the ground. And then this bottle you can put on the table here and then you can put them in the cabinet as well. And that is it for Mod 9.